Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect face. So to start out with, you want to make sure that you have a very clean face. Wash your face right before you do your makeup, just to make sure there's no dirt or bacteria. And then I always go in with a water moisturizer gel sort of thing to make sure the skin doesn't get oily. So my favorite is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. It's just from like Priceline and it's really good. Um, moisturizes the skin without making it oily. So I just use a stippling brush to apply this all over my face. that will just make sure the foundation goes on really evenly um, as all the skins moisturize the same amount. So after that I always start out with a primer. I usually use a matte primer because I've just moisturized my face. These are my three favorite pore primers. I think they're all really good and do the same thing. It's just depending on your price range or if you have these products at home. First one's the Benefit Professional. Second one's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the next one is the Master Prime pore minimizing primer. This one's the cheapest, but today I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just applying this everywhere, but focusing mostly in the middle parts of my face. For foundation, when I want to create a really good base, I always use a full coverage foundation and just apply a minimal amount of it. I think it's important to do this because when you use a light coverage foundation, I have skin dermatitis, which means that I probably shouldn't be wearing as much makeup as I do, but um, I try not to, but around here I get really red. When I wear a light coverage foundation, it's fine for the rest of my face, but here it comes off straight away and all you can see is foundation everywhere except for this one part of my face, and even if I put concealer on, it doesn't stick. So my favorite is the NARS foundation. This one is the all day luminous weightless foundation. I really love this one. I'm in shade Barcelona. So to apply my foundation, I always use a brush kind of like this, like a buffing brush and a beauty sponge. This one's just from Real Techniques. It's a lot cheaper than buying beauty blenders and I found that it actually worked better. My beauty blender got moldy so quickly, whereas this one has lasted me quite a while. So I place it on with the brush and then blend it out with the beauty blender. This will just give a really seamless application. This shade may be a bit too dark for me because it's my summer foundation and I'm not yet tanned because my fake tan's just worn off, but um, I'll blend it down my neck so it'll be fine. I've just applied a very thin layer of that but it's given me quite a lot of coverage as it's really full coverage so next I always go in with concealer my favorite concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape concealer I'm just gonna place it in the center of my face just to even out the skin tone and bring lightness so I think it's really important to cream contour and bronze. I think it makes the whole application of the makeup stay on way longer and also gives a very natural kind of effect. My two favorite products for this are the Ch Clinique Chubby Stick in Curvy Contour and the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. So I usually use a small stippling brush like this one here. This is a Zoeva Petite Stippling Brush in 122 just to blend out that contour. So for the bronzer by Chanel, I go in with a large stippling brush like this one here. This is a Zoeva 125 stippling brush and I just swirl the product around in it and it just goes straight on my face. This just really warms up the skin and makes it look like you just genuinely got a really good tan. So before I go in and set my face, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to do these off camera. So to fill in my brows, I used the Brow Contour Pro by Benefit and I just created the outline of the brows and then I filled in the middle with the L'Oreal Brow Artist in Light to Medium. So these are my two favorite products at the moment. I can do a brow routine later on. My favorite powder is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's just this one here. Um, it's expensive, but I buy mine off Strawberry Net. So if you want to get it for like $10 cheaper, I suggest that. It's like free shipping. It's really good. You can often get a discount count code if you use Honey. Um, so that's what I use. And I'm just going to dust this over the eyelid and under the eye. You can use a beauty blender for this, but I find that this is a bit more natural. 
So I do like to use translucent powder all over my face because I find that foundation powder is a bit too full coverage and makes you look a bit cakey. So I just go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. If you did need that extra coverage because you wanted to cover more up, then I do recommend the Australis Fresh and Flawless powder as it's pretty inexpensive and does the job. So my two favorite powder brushes are the Real Techniques Contour Brush. This was like a special edition one I got in America, but I think you can probably get it if you bought it online. And the Setting Brush by Real Techniques. So really love those two brushes. They're really amazing. I do like using a big brush sometimes, but I find that it sometimes doesn't apply it as um, accurately to the areas you want to apply it. And you can get it in your eyebrows and things like that. So once I've done that, I'm going to go straight into powder contour. So at the moment, I've really like rediscovered this Smashbox contour palette. I think it's really great. So this one's pretty inexpensive. So I use these two shades here and I just mix them together because this one is a bit too cool toned, but this one's a bit too warm for contouring. I've really been loving Morphe brushes. This is a brush just like this that I got in a set. It was only like um, maybe $40 for the set and it had a lot of brushes in it. So then I just contour. And I just follow my natural shape. And I just run it down the sides of my nose as well, lightly. I love contouring and bronzing. It's my favorite step. So I always do a million products. It's really unnecessary. It's just my favorite thing to do. Just to show you guys my favorite bronzers, it's the Hula by Benefit. The MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, this is really warm, so if you don't have a warm skin tone or like a um, tanned complexion, I would not go for that because it could make you look really orange. And the next one is the Ambient Hourglass Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. And I'm just going to lightly touch the brush. I'm using a similar brush that I used before but much larger. And I'm just going to bronze the outer perimeter of my face. So next is time for blush. And I think blush is so important. I think it's the most important step as like right now I look really colorless with only warm products on my face. And I think it's really important to bring that color back into your cheeks. I know a lot of people are scared to apply brush, blush as it's quite intimidating, but I think it's very important. So I have a few favorites. I really like these Tarte um, Holiday Collection brush blush sets. They come with 10 blushes, all different shades. Uh, Two of them are highlights, so it comes with eight blushes, and it just means you can have a blush for every look, but they are expensive, but good for how many you get. My favorite single blushes are the Too Faced Perfection Flush Blush in Candy Glow, Milani Luminoso, and Nars Orgasm. So the reason I'm showing you all of these is that you may have one of them at home, and so if you do, just use one of them. So today I'm gonna use NARS Orgasm. I just have a mini one, but it's more than you need because I doubt you'll hit pan on blush quickly. I'm just going to dip into that blush and just put it on the apples of my cheek and work it upwards. So you can already see it. I also put a little bit on my nose to give like a sunburnt effect. I don't know why I do it, but I always have. So now that I've applied blush, I'm just going to go straight into highlight. So highlighter is one of my favorite steps and I really love using highlighters that don't accentuate the texture on my face and I don't like glittery highlights. So my favorite highlights are MAC highlights and probably Fenty Beauty. These two are my favorite highlighters. This one here is MAC Beaming Blush. It's my favorite, so I'll definitely be using this one today. But the other one I like is Hustler Baby by uh, Fenty Beauty. You can just get the mini one in one of the mini sets and it's pretty affordable and very blinding. So today I'm going to mix the two together just to show you how they look. I just dug my nail into it. <gasps> oh my god. So now that my face is very highlighted, I'm just going to use a lip liner. I'm not going to do my eyelashes today just because I'm going to film that in another video where I show how to apply false lashes. So firstly, I'm just going to go in with lip liner. So my favorite lip liners are definitely the Essence ones. They're literally $4 from Priceline. It's so affordable, maybe $3. They're so cheap. 
And I also do love the ColourPop ones, but they're not as affordable um, because you have to buy them online. I'm going to go in with the shade 11, Sucker for Grey. So next I'm just going to go in with my favourite liquid lipstick at the moment, and that is Maybelline Seductress. straight over the top of that I'm just going to apply a gloss. This is my favourite gloss. It's called Snow Day by Colourpop. It's so glittery and pink and pretty. So I'm just going to go film my How to Apply False Lashes video and I'll be right back with eyelashes on so I can show you the finished look. So I just applied mascara and lashes and some glitter and everything. So I just wanted to show you guys close up on the base that I created and zoom in on my face, which is quite scary for me, so you can see how um, it looks up close. So I hope you guys liked this base routine video. Um, I think this is a really, really good look if you're going out clubbing or want to be in makeup all day and you want to wear something really full coverage but you haven't done it before um, because I think this makeup will stay locked in all day. To finish off the base, I'd go in with the setting spray. I'd use the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm not going to use it today just because I am probably going to take this off five minutes after this, but um, it'll just lock in the makeup and also make it more dewy. Um, so this is the finished look. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I just chucked in some hoops to make it a bit more dressy. And I think this would be perfect if you're going out clubbing, you know, with a dress on and some heels. You would look super fancy, especially with these bold lashes. So thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.